BBC Radio 1. Hello, I'm Arielle Free. I'm Luke Franks, and welcome to Worst Dates. We are in the Worst Dates attic mm -hmm. here. It's very nice. Um, on this episode, we had the awesome Olivia Atwood and Alex Hober. Yeah, there's broken limbs, there's pissing on carpets. I mean, what more could you want in yeah. life? Uh, broken hearts, apparently. But um, yeah, check it out. Here's the best bits. So on the podcast today, very excited, it's going to be a good one. Uh, Liv Atwood is here. Hello. Hey guys. Welcome Hi. along. And Alex Hoban as well. Hey. hey. Nice to see you. Nice Cheers for coming you. into no the worries. worst dates attic. And uh, are you ready to sort of share your stories? Yeah. So ready, babe. I feel like, Alex, you're slightly less... He looks a bit scared. I'm yeah, reluctant. He's terrified. He's like... I don't know. I've, yeah, I've been really thinking over the last few days about my dating history. <laughs> We well, did pretend to be a girl for yeah. like three weeks. I've been so. on dates as a man. I've been on dates as a woman. I've done both. I've done everything. Great. You lived a colourful life. I feel like our dating history is a bit different, though. I, f I just feel it is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love that you've gone there already. <laughs> love <laughs> Island. <laughs> yeah. Celebrity. Kids, well, we usually ask our guests, actually, to round up their dating experience in one word. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Save me. Save me, Great. Jesus. I'm um, drunk. <laughs> yeah, nice, good. Uh, Alex? Fortunate. Oh. oh! What are you doing on this podcast then? Yeah. It's worst dates. Is he coming to Glow? He's going to be like, I've had such a well, great dating so life. Good dating. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, uh, yeah, we uh, first thing we'd like to do is slide in the DMs. It's so the modern way of dating. It is really, isn't it? It's probably the best way. So, have you got your phones on you? Yeah. Is it the yeah. best way? Debatable, best Debatable. way. Debatable. I just need to put this out there. Before Love Island, my DMs was like where it was up. I had so many good DMs, like actually fit guys, yeah. like normal messages. And then since Love Island, it's gone really aggressively downhill. <laughs> In what way? What, like the weirder messages? It's just weirder. Yeah. And no one decent ever messaged me anymore. It's like, they just, well, they've seen me, haven't they? So they don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> But what about the other way around? Who have you messaged? I've never messaged anyone, I don't think. Not have even you since not? you got the blue tick. Blue tick is guaranteed red. <laughs> that is a good line. <laughs> Terrified it is. so that we... It is. You can message anyone. I've never ever really slid right into boys' DMs first. No. Have you ever replied to a story? That's like a suck. Okay, slide, yeah. And I wouldn't... Is that sliding? I reckon it oh, counts, this is yeah. slide, I didn't know okay. this. Uh, that's that too subtle for me to understand. Like, I... Yeah. That, that, Sliding in fine, yeah. but I think I reply to people's stories all the time. So you all just slide in like my boss, center. you're sliding and all like over the place. My co-workers, <laughs> and like, do they all just think I fancy them? Then, or something? Depends what you say, I guess. Especially the like, pale, oh. like I don't know, like a cool and I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Do they just think I'm trying to help? Maybe. I mean, <laughs> they do. It's out there. Oh, I'm just going to make sure that I haven't DM'd you before. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my god, please, please, please. <laughs> What's uh, at the top of your list? What's the most recent? Kind of slightly weird. Yeah, you know, most of my DMs are girls these days. I've got to be honest. Yeah, like okay. they're nice things normally. People oh, always yeah. offering money for different things. Like you know, there was one of that. I'll give you ten grand for some like used socks. I was like, I mean, that is, is that up. tempting? Yeah. Well, yeah, as in your used would, socks. Mm, I'm trying to find it now. I'll give them a pair for free. Yeah. <laughs> After that, if I get ten grand, you get two Yours for the price of Kate's. one. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Are you pretending to be Sorry, Kate? Sorry, babe, I've got to borrow those socks. Did you buy or no? No, I didn't. But I've definitely like flagged it for like. No I've socks. Got my socks she doesn't on. have socks on. They're gone in the post. <laughs> <laughs> she sold them all. Liv is wearing no socks. I definitely keep hold that one for a rainy day though. You never know what's yeah. going to happen. Um, have you got any any good um, DMs? I had one time a man offering uh, for me to come and entertain his family in Saudi Arabia. Oh. Um, Ooh, and dude. live with him permanently. Live with him permanently? <laughs> That's entertain. more entertaining, isn't it? Entertain his family, but I have to live there. In what way entertain them? I guess like a jester. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a comedy character who pops yeah, up before dinner. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you know I'm not that funny in real life, it's just a video. <laughs> just like one of those, what's this called? The monkeys what with the symbols. What are you doing with your hands? <laughs> yeah, the monkey with a symbol. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a harpsichord thing? No. Whack a gong when it's dinner know. time. I don't know. <laughs> I just imagine like a medieval thing in my head. But... You, did you reply to that or no? No, no? no. So now it is time for you both. Um, I don't know who wants to go first to share with us their worst date experience. Now it doesn't have to be one. Mm. There could be numerous. Yeah. But... You could be the worst date. I mean, whoever wants to go first. Don't all volunteer at first. Right, I'll hit out with one that's quite good. Okay. Right. So it's actually all worked out fine because he's my boyfriend now. Okay. Nice. We're probably all going to judge him massively for deciding to be with me after this. Has he? Have you told him you're going to tell the story? Or no? no, because he'd probably be like, why would you tell people that? It's horrendous and I'm glad only we witnessed it, but I'm going to tell you. So one, of, <laughs> so one of our first, like, we 
dates, yeah. We've been out for drinks in town, whatever. We've gone back to mine, and like second or third time, still at early doors. And we'd bought some food back, like from the chippy, whatever. And we'd gone in, and it was because of being drunk and stupid, I literally like, sort of tripped a bit on the carpet, and I ended up dropping like shit all over my carpet, like chips, I can't remember what it was. I'm so OCD. So we picked it all up, and he was like, oh, he's like, whatever, it's fine. And I was like, no, I need to hoover up that last bit. I was like, it's doing my head in. As I'm pulling it out, the cord wrapped around my legs. I basically got myself tangled and I basically <laughs> fell on the carpet. You think this is the end of the story? <laughs> I fall on the carpet, so I'm like a fish. I'm like this and he's <laughs> laughing so much. I'm literally laughing and I was absolutely crying laughing. And then he just goes totally white and he's staring at me and he's like, Liv. And I'm like, literally laughing. He's like, what, like, what the hell? I was peeing. No. Myself with laughter. That's... On my own cream <laughs> carpet. That's sort of like magical and, and amazing. <laughs> You're pissing. I was like, oh my god. I was like, now I'm trying to get to the toilet. I'm still tangled and I'm peeing. Was it sort of going Wait, everywhere? And were you peeing on the carpet that you'd just been cleaning up because yeah. you couldn't stand the mess of the carpet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a dog, no like offense. But, like... but yeah, but my legs were together, so it was like kind of like trickling out, like slowly. And he was like, is that piss? And I was like, no, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> it's happening, and I, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. He was like, stop his head. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, he ends up being your boyfriend. Yeah. That's I good. Mean, if you get that out of the way early, then... Maybe he has got a piss fetish. <laughs> maybe that was like, his, he was like, sold, I'll take you for life. <laughs> Best bit's the tangled bit. Just no, no, like, just like panicking. yourself <laughs> like a salmon. Flapping like a salmon. Uh, it's a strong start, Liv. Uh, uh, yeah. I thought it was going in there with that one. Yeah. Oh, I feel oh. better. I feel lighter now I've like shared it. it. You know, everyone who comes to this podcast like does therapy. like, at the end of it, they're always like, oh, I feel really like, yeah. like it's therapy. Because I think <laughs> yeah. the, the one thing we definitely realised from doing this is that we are all horrendous when it comes to dating. No matter like yeah. how confident we are, or unconfident, like things go wrong and dates like quite like yeah, quite most often, people, most people, yeah, like ninety yeah. percent of the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we've Alex, had. Uh, go on, Alex. Oh no, <laughs> no, I've, I've been unfortunate plenty of times. Um, have you ever pissed yourself? <laughs> no, never no. pissed myself. I mean, oh, I did have to go on a date with a man on national television. That was interesting. Well, yeah. Um, when I was pretending to be a woman for three well, weeks. Well, did you actually physically have to meet him? We didn't meet, but we oh, went like, on a date. date. Uh, yeah, and he finished with, uh, because we had cookies in the flats, and he's like, and he didn't have a cookie jar, and we, that was part of the, like, the banter, apparently, on the date or whatever. <laughs> he goes, I don't need a cookie jar, because I found something much sweeter. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I'm just being me, mate. I want to talk about the football, you know what I mean, really. Did he get angry um, with you and he found out? Yeah, everyone did. But uh, <laughs> the worst thing is, is that I'd actually been catfished in real life once in Australia. So you, you knew, knew how it felt and then yeah. you did it. Yeah. But as in, like, the geezer turned up to the date. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, so yeah, wait, yeah. Right. You, what were okay, you doing so in Australia? Was, were you travelling? So yeah, or... just living there, just yeah. uh, loving life. And I went on Tinder um, and uh, this lovely Canadian blonde called Taylor... <laughs> started chatting to me and Taylor bearing Swift. in mind yeah, well, they look very similar <laughs> should um, have spotted it earlier. yeah I should have known no um and but he uh yeah i went to, on this date ready to meet taylor five foot nothing blonde from canada and talk like all canadian stuff and this geezer turned up after about half an hour and he sat down and he was like i was like all right and he's like all right mate and i was like yeah, you. It's me, Taylor. And I was like a bit feeling a bit weird because this geezer just sat at the table. And I was like, you're like, I'm not very confrontational. So I was just like, kind of waiting for him to say. And he's like, I've got something to tell you. And I was like, what? And he's like, um, I've been talking to you. It's like my thing. I talk to people online pretending to be this girl, but I really like you. And I wanted to come and like, and I was like, what? Yeah, That's would, so bold, you, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, does that ever turn out well? No. Like, no. But like, it wasn't like he fancied, like, obviously he, obviously, whatever he wanted to do, he wanted to do, but he wanted to come and tell me because he thought I was a nice guy and he felt bad. So he just turned up to tell me in person. <laughs> Instead of DMing me and just being like, mate, lol. Actually, yeah, lol, yeah, I've been lol, having you on. Lol, those dick pics <laughs> online, like. Well, not only did he lie to you, but by coming and fessing up, he took away your chance to be on Catfish. You know, you could yeah. go on Catfish. Yeah, and yeah that's true, isn't it? Yeah, down. He took that away from you. Yeah. He took everything. Yeah. He took everything. Stop. It actually astounds me how common it is. Yeah. We've had like that. We've had so many Catfish yeah. stories, but like, and the people always turn up. I'm they like, do. What? Yeah, well, how? Very, very, very cool. Cool. Yeah. Very, does it ever work? 
very confident people. <laughs> what happened after that? Did you were you just like? Nah. Well, I just thought. I just thought he's, he's staying, and he was just like the waiter came past, and he's like, and I was like, I'm not staying for a drink, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't wave him down. I just himself a pint. Yeah. So, and how did he go yeah, in? Put that on his bill. Yeah. No, I was like out of here, man. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. And then you pretended to be a girl, though. So then you did the exact same. Then I got my revenge. Yeah. yeah. What did you enjoy more, being catfished or pretending? To be a girl? <laughs> Neither, to be honest. Both sucked. <laughs> I thought being a catfish would be jokes, but it wasn't after three weeks job. and then having to meet them in real life. <laughs> yeah, having to walk into a room where there was a six foot five muscle monster oh who loved the character I was playing. Because he, he did sort of fall low-key in love with you, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. yeah, he fell in love with Have me. Have you stayed in touch? Yeah, we've got a podcast together now. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. But, um, yeah, it was a very awkward and they edited him really well. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff he said to me. Oh, yeah. wow. He was fuming. Yeah, I was. Fr- I shit my pants. I think <laughs> my, my like go-to date when I was growing up. I mean, that sounds like it was ages ago. But it wasn't. Um, my go-to date was Back ice skating. So I, I used to be. I'm really good at ice skating. So I would always take people ice really skating good. Well, to prove how yeah. good you are. Yeah, but then the girl you? that I really liked broke her arm. <laughs> <laughs> Like, not even, so the worst thing was, so she didn't, you know, on ice skates, I'm not sure they do it anymore, but on higher skates, you have covers on, like the blade. Yeah. 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 Like a plastic bit on top. She didn't even make it. She didn't take them off. No, she didn't take the plastic bits off, so she came running out onto the ice. She she claimed (laughs) she was really good at ice skating. She came running out, like a little dash out onto the ice, and then just, just went starfish, and then her arm came up, and it was like weird shapes. And I was like, you're right. And she didn't feel the, she didn't like, complain about the pain until she looked down she's like ah! screaming that is a bad day I'm surprised yeah. you didn't pick that one first she broke her arm I didn't on the wait in A&E either is that bad oh what no what? I don't do that I couldn't I couldn't get home otherwise How, was this like teenagers it was like, it was, no well yeah the last bus it was like a late it was like at 8pm <laughs> It was at 8pm. I was like, I'm getting that last bus. My mum won't pick me up. I'm not being homeless. <laughs> Did you send her off on the bus? I'm not sleeping on the street because... So of... you left her and by herself with a broken arm? Yeah, but her parents came, I think. Okay. I don't know. She never spoke to you again. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> yeah. That was your moment to be like 90 in, shi- in shining armour. Like, you didn't yeah. want her then. She was damaged goods. You were like, oh, this one's got to be Yeah, this arm's arm, going to be weak like... for the rest of her life. <laughs> my dad, uh, side story, ran over my mum's finger on an, ice, on an ice rink and cut it. Oh, and, on, uh, on an ice rink. On their first date, and they've been together ever since. So, oh. Yeah, just to make it worse for you. Missed Did out. Did chop it? Or just Not fully off. It was hanging off. Like... You had to get it stitched back Jeez. on. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but let's still get this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast, we always have a big question that we'd like to answer. Um, so are you ready for this week's big question should you ever or can you ever go on a date sober can it be done and is it as enjoyable <laughs> so yeah so i was sober until i was 21 which meant every day i've been on until then sober and then i had a, a long-term girlfriend and then went on a few dates and then a long-term girlfriend so it's been like minimal dates drunk i feel like people get on edge when you don't drink with them yeah. they get on edge more i don't like it yeah what if one person's drinking yeah so, yeah, so, so some people would always be like oh if it was like a first date they'd be like, oh mm. shall i have a drink and i'm like well sorry to tell you I don't. and that would be off to often yeah. be a deal breaker would it's, it yeah it's weird isn't it because i wouldn't want that to be a deal breaker and i'd like to think that wouldn't change anything but for a first date it is difficult if you're not drinking and you don't know them and you get your conversation out in an hour i mean I, it's no secret, I'm quite a big ag- advocate for drinking. <laughs> I'm here, like, supporting the drinking lifestyle, <laughs> the boozy culture. And also, yeah, obviously drink responsibly and all that shit. But it's like, I feel like, unless it's a medical reason, people don't drink, I feel like they've got something to hide. Why don't you want to let your hair down? What are you scared you're going to tell us? Are you mm. a serial killer? Or, like, you know, like, Busted. you've got some weird hobby. <laughs> like, I thought it's like they're hiding something because they don't want to, like... I know what you mean, but then... I guess it's like, like, as you get older, just hangovers are like two days. So now, yeah, I you, less, I, yeah, you've got to schedule like your week yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. it for sure. Uh, but I know what you mean. It's like a couple of drinks. Why not? But... Yeah, a couple of drinks. Because I feel like dating is uncomfortable. Like you know, you don't it's know. Nerve wracking. So it's like everyone's better after a couple of drinks. Yeah, I have to say, like, if someone said to me that they didn't drink, like you say, a deal breaker, yeah. I wouldn't instantly be like. Ugh, but I'd be it's like, dread. I'm never gonna marry you. But you'd ask why, right? <laughs> yeah, I'd be what? like, yeah, what's the reason? Yeah, There's like, oh, I just don't there was, like There it. was like genuine reasons, which I won't bore you with, but there was reasons okay, at okay, the time. We'll let you so off yeah. there. okay, we'll so let you off. So it was a thing, and often they, that would also, because it was like, it was really sort of, it would bring the tone of the conversation down oh, so when like you tell them the real reason. It's like, heavy. Right, so it's then messing. it's, yeah, then it's even worse. And then she's just there drinking, right? <laughs> 
Sad. I've done it. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a fancy, yeah. like a woo. I had to because I did dry Feb this year, didn't I? Yeah, well yeah. done. And I went and did, but then it was that thing of like, I just had a sore done lame, and I didn't make a thing about it. I was like, oh, I'm just doing dry Feb yeah, because it's the shortest month. That's socially acceptable, so, though. Like, do you reckon? Do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like dry Jan, dry Feb is like, it's kind of like a vibe now. It's like, yeah. it's kind of cool to do it. Everyone does it. So it's like, yeah, so Actually, yes. someone, I'd be like, well, I wish you told me we could have done this in March, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. We scheduled this date back. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think if you do sober dating, it's nice to have an activity like ice skating yeah. or yeah. Like yeah. 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 or like. Oh, that's yeah. probably it, isn't it? Like going to a pub so a bit difficult because yeah. a pub yeah. is designed yeah. to drink. But if you go somewhere else, that's probably. Fun. Also, pubs smell funny when you're sober. But yeah, just they just smell. And like, I don't when... like being in a bar like where other people are getting drunk and you're not. Because one, I get jealous, <laughs> and two, it's just like it's loud and everyone's drunk and they're being loud. So if you're not having a drink, it's weird. It's, yeah, the atmosphere is a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not. Like how people go out to nightclubs not drunk yeah right? that is like fair play but difficult I mean, they're it? just quite like vile places anyway so it's like the only time they're fun is when you're absolutely steaming because you're like yeah like if you're like even a little bit not drunk enough you realize how horrendous it is like, yeah. you know, and that, a lot of songs are quite shit. So yeah, no, that like, is yeah the music the shit music. they're hot they're too loud like, oh my God, i'm getting old aren't i <laughs> <laughs> like the people are just awful yeah yeah when I first started drinking after the, when I was 21, it was last year of uni, I was like, okay, here we go, absolute carnage, unleash hell. Um, I, got, I got run over on my, first, on my first drink. My first drinking experience, I got run over, but it wasn't like a serious run over. I was walking along the back of cars on the way home and this man just like went out and just went, Dum. just like reversed out into me and just like, I just fell on the floor, obviously I was drunk. I've never been drunk before, I was on my own. And then he put me in his car and took me home. And I, he's like, "What's nice your address?" Yeah, I was like, sort of scary. "Yeah, but then, but then, like, I woke up the next day, and they were like, you were in the house, like, tucked in.' So I, I, I don't remember him coming in the house, thank God. But he might oh. have done. I don't know. For all I know, but that was my first drinking experience. This is actually your worst date story. But you just don't remember what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was my date. <laughs> he ran me over. Was this Taylor? Yeah, this is Taylor again. <laughs> Taylor. Followed you outside. And just like, <laughs> stop following. <laughs> so conclusion. Yeah. Sober dating, it is doable. You just doable. have to have the Apparently right not, environment. Apparently not for live, not for live. I mean, <laughs> if, 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 if it's, it's doable, I can I physically do it. Like if there was some sort of like Would you enjoy it again? When no. was the last time you did it? I, I would never put myself through that misery. It's like, <laughs> I told you. It's like taxes, you do it. No one wants to do it. Like, <laughs> I, could, I could do it, but I'm not going to choose to go on a date with a stranger and be sober and then... Fair. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Um, well, we've had, again, lots of uh, your texting and uh, various stories from you on hashtag worst dates. So let's go through them and then we'll this. see what everyone thinks. I've got an absolute corker. Go on, kick us off. So I had this one sent to me straight off the back of the date. Like they were so desperate to quickly let me know. Like this is this is why I love it because the detail is like amazing. I'm going to keep them anonymous, although okay. they are someone I know. Um, I had a disaster on a wee date last night. They're Scottish, obviously. I was going to say <laughs> as one of Liv's dates, a wee date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a disaster on a wee date last night. Had a picnic on the heath and a few beers. My stomach went a bit bad and we had to leg it to get me to the toilet. On the way, <laughs> I couldn't stop farting. I had to stop to pee as I was half drunk, which resulted, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, in my tampon dropping on me. I then shat myself a bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, that how is that the next point. sentence? I love how it's a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Literally <laughs> everything has come out of this. Dot, 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 all in a bush in the heath. I farted in <laughs> I farted in front of two old wee ladies who were sitting on the bench. It was mortifying. Luckily, I had a spare <laughs> pair of clothes as I was working that day. So I managed to get changed, threw my pants in the bin. <laughs> I can <laughs> say it definitely ruined the sexy vibe of our romantic date but we went on another one. Wow. Wait, so the guy was with her the whole time? <laughs> it's just like a first what? date, a boyfriend. That's commitment. No, this is a, a guy that she's going out with. That's commitment. He just escorted her around, pooing on the floor and stuff. And Hiding I like the levels the of it. So she went from farting to then pissing, to then tampon dropping out, to then shitting on herself, What's to then farting to again in front of two ladies. I feel like she's really ruined my story. I feel like I really didn't bring enough that night. Like, just the piss. Like, and she's gone all three stages. You're like, a god of worms. 
sliding her ass so, yeah. the grass. <laughs> Top listener story. Yeah. If only she she'd vomited as well, that'd be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only yeah. she'd vomited in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I've got one here. Um, uh, again, from Anonymous. I went out with a guy who took me to a fast food restaurant and tried to get the meal for free by showing off his abs to the woman at the front register. That it's is fast food, awful, mate. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, also, if you've got abs, why are you in a fast food? Yeah. It's all right. Well, just, no, I mean, yeah. Just don't ever Nothing do that. Nothing makes sense there. That's, that's <laughs> fast food's generally level. cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, is he like, can he not afford to get her maybe a He's selling Mac his body for, for Big Mac, yeah. 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 <laughs> that is weird, isn't it? That's well, all And also, does that work? Like, ooh, I just flashed my abs at exactly. the couch. Exactly. Like, was he thinking that girl's going to go, oh, that's wicked free <laughs> burger, and you've got abs, let's go to mine. Like, that's never going to happen. <laughs> no. um, loads of you have been using the hashtag worst dates, which is amazing. And actually, I think there's about 300 now, so there's like loads of stories Love to go it. through. Um, there is one that's pretty much like a whole film script that I'm about to read for you, Jeez. so okay. get yourselves comfy. Get settled. I just need to wait for it to load as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I met some bloke on a night out, we swapped numbers and arranged a date. On the day of the date, he says to me at the cinema, which he says he'll buy the tickets and I can buy the snacks. That's fine, I thought, quite nice. Until he buys the cheapest tickets and then proceeds to pick what I can only assume was his dinner as a snack. He went for a hot dog, nachos, popcorn, large drink and chocolate, none of which were to share. All for him. <laughs> fine. Then he goes on to talk all through the film all about himself. The film ends, I'm ready to go home alone. He, wa he wants to walk for a cab. We basically end up walking two miles back to his parents' house where he was staying. I saw a cab and jumped in, deflecting a goodnight kiss. The next day I told him I didn't feel a connection and wished him well. He then keeps coming into my work for the next few months. What? I work in retail, she says. It got to the point where my staff would warn me if they saw him coming. Fast forward to a year later, I'm in a relationship all as well. We go to meet some of his mates one night and guess who walks in? No. <gasps> my bad date. Turns out they knew each other, so I had to quickly make an excuse to leave and tell my boyfriend, who nearly wet himself in the car on the way home. So it all worked out in the end. But can That's you imagine mad. that guy oh walking in, like, like oh, I'm coming just... with my friends, and it's him? Uh, you'd That's hope, so yeah, you'd grim. never see them again. You've got those tickets at the front of the cinema where you're like... <laughs> I don't <laughs> yeah. understand anyone like who likes burnt. speaking through a film in the cinema. And yeah. also yeah. cinema, no, worst date venue ever. It's not a date venue. No. Like, you go there when you've been with your boyfriend a while and you don't want to look at each other or speak to each other. That's, <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> that's the whole beauty of the cinema. It's like date night, but you're fucking doing my head in Let's Go Cinema. <laughs> 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 yeah. No thanks. I would don't also, I would also like, that'd be one of the tests, what snacks you pick. <laughs> For me, for me, yes, it'd be one of the tests. I have like, to go for a pick oh, and mix, and you have to have white like chocolate mice in there. Yeah. Really, I'm a yeah. snake. I like the snakes. Oh, no, but they're, that's quite a lot of admin. They'll put little Oreo biscuits in your pocket. No, because the snakes are like really yeah, like it takes that. ages to finish one of those snakes. Like literally, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. you're chewing that thing for ages. <laughs> that's a good line so in the cinema. You're in the cinema though. chewing the snake yeah. for ages. <laughs> I am chewing your snake for ages. <laughs> Lots of admin. No. Yeah. <laughs> now my jaw's man. tired, so don't expect anything else when we get home. Because that <laughs> snake has finished me off. <laughs> Never chew the snake. Just <laughs> reference. Uh, oh, it's all dear. right. Um, Liv, Alex, thank you so much no for joining worries. us in our worst days attic. Cheers, uh, I think it's safe to say you both shared quite a lot. It's yeah. been good. I thought, I thought you were quite even, Stevens, in terms of worst dating experience. At the beginning, you thought maybe it was going to be quite. Different I thought between you were going to come out shining, but you've come out of an armbreaker. Yeah, yeah, you dragged me through the dirt. <laughs> you know, you Do you lot. feel better now a little bit? Yeah, I feel yeah. good. Relief. That's good. Yeah, I've been holding that armbreaker one for years. So. <laughs> Imagine if she gets in touch. Don't She's not her next caller. If you're maybe. listening, please don't contact me. <laughs> There and we babe, go. if you're oh. listening, I won't be on the carpet tonight. <laughs> Unless you want me to. <laughs> Each to their own. That's all right. Um, thanks so much, guys. Make sure you subscribe as well. Um, you can check it out on BBC Sounds and watch it on Radio 1 YouTube. Olivia and Alex, uh, thanks, thanks so much. for having us. Thank you.